Hi folks, Daryl Legacy here, Instructional Designer at Hack. This video will show you how to make screencast videos to share with your students using Screencast-O-Matic. We'll specifically show you how to make a course navigation video, but these same steps can be followed to record a PowerPoint lecture, instructions for submitting assignments, or almost anything else you might want to show to your students. A course navigation video is required for online and blended courses, and it serves to show your students how to use D2L and where to find the important parts of your course. It isn't necessary for in-person courses, but it can also help these students find elements when they're working at home. Camtasia is another option for recording videos, and we'll look at that program in another video. Here, we'll discuss Screencast-O-Matic, which has the benefit of being easier to use and free up to 15 minutes. Plus, it has a web recorder if you don't want to have to download and install the full program. The first step is to go to www.screencastomatic.com in your browser. You don't need to worry about the hyphens in the URL as it works without them. If you've never used it before, click the Sign Up button and use either your hack email or a personal one. After you type in your email and click Continue, a screen will load that asks you to verify your email address. Go to your email and find the email from Screencast-O-Matic to verify it. Then it will let you create your free account. Once you're verified and logged in, it may bring you directly to the recording screen. If not, click the Record for Free button on the main page. Then click the Launch Free Recorder button on the next page. Depending on your browser, it may ask if you want to open or download a file. You'll need to say yes to allow the recorder to open on your computer, but you won't need to install anything. If you never get the pop-up, you may have pop-ups disabled or your antivirus software may be automatically blocking them. If so, you may need to talk to Hack Tech Support for help. If you scroll down instead of clicking on Record for Free, you'll see the option to download and install the free player. This works similarly, but doesn't require you to be online while recording. Once you have opened Screencast-O-Matic, it will show you this black and white frame and a recorder pop-up box. The frame is the area on your computer that will be recorded. And you can easily change this by clicking and dragging the corners. The recorder box will likely be open by default. If it isn't, click the little gear icon next to the record button. This lets you choose to record your screen, your webcam, or both. Just the screen is best if you're sharing a PowerPoint or something else where the viewers don't need to see you. The webcam is good if you just want to talk directly to your viewers with no other distractions. And both can be a good choice if you want to have your viewers see both you and your content as you discuss it. This can be an easy way to help your audience connect more with you, and it also helps them use nonverbal cues to understand which parts are important or your emotional reaction to certain points you're making. The max time is only 15 minutes with the free version of Screencast-O-Matic, so keep that in mind. If you want to upgrade, the deluxe version is just $20 per year and has unlimited recording time. If you click on the arrow to the right of Narration, it will let you choose your input device. It's important that this is correct, so test it by speaking. If you see the green lines moving up and down, that means it's working. Computer audio is restricted to the deluxe version. The only reason to use it would be if you want to record sounds from your computer, such as music. Otherwise, you don't need it, and it will just interfere with your own speaking. Let's look at a sample course and talk about your course navigation video. When you push the red record button, it will count down and then start recording. A course navigation video serves two real purposes, to help students find your course materials and to make the students feel supported from the very beginning. To ensure you're showing a view that is most similar to what they will see, you should click your name or photo in D2L and choose View as Student before pressing Record. It's up to you how formal or informal you want this to be, but it should be welcoming and some of your personality should come through. You may even want to push the Both button in the recorder so that they can see your screen and your face from the webcam. Think about what elements they need to know about from the first day of class. So you probably want to explain the news tool and your instructor contact widget, and you should give an overview of the Start Here folder. It might be a good idea to upload your navigation video both to Start Here and to a welcome news item, because students may not even know they should go to the content area to find this video. 
you should show them where the syllabus is and the support links for user support, student services, tutoring, and D2L accessibility. It's a good idea to show what a typical module looks like, probably week one. Just give a quick overview of how the module is arranged. You also should probably click through important links on your navbar, which might include quizzes, Dropbox, discussion, or grades. Make sure you've discussed how to find your contact information and any class or office hour Zoom links, and feel free to share any other tips or tricks you have for them. Try to be brief, since you can only record up to 15 minutes with the free version of Screencast-O-Matic. You also don't want to overwhelm students with a 45-minute video on their first day. If you need to go into depth on something like the syllabus or your expectations, try making separate short videos for those. You can push the pause button to stop recording, either temporarily or for good. When you're completely finished, push the pause button and then click Done. Then click Save Upload, where you can preview your video and decide what to do with it. While it does offer the option to upload directly to YouTube, it's usually better to choose Save as Video File and upload yourself, just to make sure you have your account connected correctly. You can only use the Edit function if you upgrade to Deluxe, and you can delete and immediately start re-recording by clicking the Redo button. Clicking Cancel just deletes the video file completely. That's all you need to know for recording with Screencast-O-Matic. If you have any questions, please contact me or someone else in the CDI team.